Hey, what's up YouTube? Skybadger here, and we're back with week 6, I think it is? Hmm, a little, a little later, yeah, week 6, that's week 6. Yeah, 6, 7's our 42. Yeah, so we're back again in week 6. Um, this is towards the end of it, and as you can see on the scoreboard, we are in 2nd. So, how we got to 2nd is, we, um killed our former ally who wasn't active so you know that justifies it you know backstabbing him he technically we didn't backstab him we backstabbed a computer he isn't active and we're going for the capital now um taking the capital will give us the boost and production we need to put our food back in the positives i i'm going to be honest i haven't had much time to play this particular game um so i have to admit i have let things go a little bit on this so while I've been playing in between games, um, we have taken out our former ally, and South Argentina came in for the land grab. So what we did about that is, although I don't want war with South Argentina, I've taken a very kind of uh, approach to getting the land off, and we don't want other people to have land that are not our allies in um, South Africa, as this is a threat. We can't see what's happening in there. So um, I kind of set up um, economic saboteurs to lower the morale to the point it rebels. And it's worked on these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces so far. We just need a way to, you know, take it slow. This one here is uh, having a hard time rebelling by the looks of it, so uh, let's add a few more economic saboteurs here. This is not really what you want to use economic saboteurs for. It's a great way to start wars and make, al make enemies, rather. Um, but you, but you know it's got to be done. Um, we've already been discussing um, that you know we don't like them having land here, so they know to deal with that. Oh, our production just went up for some reason. Minus sixteen. Oh well, that's good. Um, so in the meantime, while I've been um, hopping between games, um, I've been building up our air force. Something's happening over here that I don't quite know about. Um, although he has updated his direction, so it looks like they're going to attack this guy. This was our next target. Um, as fighting um, East Brazil and his whole coalition is a big hole. Man, that, that, that wouldn't be fun. Either. We'd be at that for the rest of the game until we died or they died. They have a lot of players on their side and we don't have the players to match that. So the approach we're going to have to take is hope they go inactive as time goes on. And that generally happens. You know, people ain't committed and people give off and people get bored. So we're going to have to wait for that to happen. Um, so, like I was saying, I've been building up the Air Force, building um, bombers, naval bombers to stock our um, carriers with, and a lot of interceptors too. Uh, I did take some casualties um, in terms of tactical bombers down here while I was taking the land. I, like I said, I wasn't you know, paying too much attention, and they may have taken a few casualties that were not very necessary. But we got heaps of land from it and boosted ourselves into second. So, I'm still working on oil. That's going to take some time to get back up, as that is not, you know, plus four, four, five hundred practically is okay. I like, I like it to be higher. So that's what's been happening. Going into the next week, um, I'm going to start rallying troops up here onto this border here, uh, so we can be more prepared and um, build up a force to move east. That would be east, right? No, where so? Who cares? Um, to move. Oh, actually, up might be a good idea, up north. So, we'll just see where that takes us, but it will be probably into this land. As the other guys are not very easy targets. Um, if we have a look in the newspaper, uh, most of the coalition is in all the next places below. So, it would not be a good idea. Although there isn't many active players left, so... It might actually be a good idea to, instead of fighting with them, ally with their enemies, and then fight them. If you get what I'm saying, because at the moment, if we have a look at the coalitions, um, this is our coalition here. Second best coalition in the game, and that's the best coalition right there, five members. There's only three of us, and one of the members of the three is actually friends of one of the guys in this coalition so he probably won't help us if we need it 
So it might be a good idea if we um actually ally with this guy. But there is stuff I will uh, figure out somehow. And well, yeah, if I have time, um, we'll figure this out and we will do something about it. So that's what I've been up to. Very little. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble in some of my other games. One's about to, well, one's coming to an end, and I'm going to win it. Um, only two players left now, so that one will be over soon, and then I can focus more on this. And in the other game, I'm fighting a um, gold user, and I'm holding out, but I just need to wait long enough that uh, my ally gets the required points to win the game. Um, so yeah, so um, a lesson just from that game in particular is uh, don't attack players who use gold. Uh, unless you use gold yourself. I may put a tutorial out on my tips on how to um, play against a gold user in the um, future. Uh, but that's kind of a controversial topic as, uh, you, know, you know, people use it, people don't use it, people have strong opinions, and I just don't want to annoy anyone. So, um, that could expect that in the future. Um, I, I, I don't know. So, that's that. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.